Part three of Blender Basics on the 3D View. Uh, today we're going to go into uh, editing objects with Tab. So uh, I'm in the default view here. I'm going to hit zero on the number pad to go to the camera view. And the default cube is selected. I'm going to hit Tab. And you notice I go into edit mode here. At this point, I can select the different vertices that the cube is made up of. And just like everything else, I can use uh, G, S, and R to grab, scale, and rotate. So I've grabbed this one point here, or selected it. I'm going to hit G to grab it. I can now pull it out. You can see I can start manipulating this cube in different ways and make different shapes. And you get in and out of that view, edit mode with tab. So now if I add a second object, we'll say a UV sphere, and I'll grab that and move it over here. I can do the same thing with it. When I have it selected, I hit tab, and a UV sphere has quite a bit more uh, vertices than, um, than a cube. If I hit one to go into the front view here, I can use box mode to select a few of them, as so, and I can grab that on the z-axis, and I can stretch that out, and I can use a to unselect and B to box mode again on the bottom and I can grab that on the Z mode and I can start making different things. I can hit S to scale this end down and uh, you can also do uh, I'm going to B select here and hit R and I'm going to rotate on the Y axis like so. So you can start making different shapes just by messing with the vertices here. I'm going to grab it on the X axis now and not that I actually made anything in particular. It kind of looks like an ice cream cone down at the bottom. That's how you move vertices around, but you'll notice that, as I said, tab to go in and out of mode, you can't select any other objects. Anything I try to click on, I can't hit it because I'm in and out mode, I'm only editing this object. Um, now, let's look at combining objects. If I want to make these two items one object, I can shift select at both of them. I can go to objects and I can join objects, which is also control J. So as you sure, just click yes. And now they are the same object. If I hit tab, you'll see that I can edit them both at the same time because they are one object. But they are separate, they're not connected. I can hit, uh, I'm hitting plus and minus to zoom in and out, which you can also scroll in and out. But if you hit control and press plus, you'll see how I'm slowly highlighting that object till I hit everything. What shift, or I'm sorry, control plus on your number pad does is it selects the vertices that are near, nearest to the vertices you select. So I have this one vertice selected here. If I hit control and plus, you notice it's selected the closest vertices. I'll press it again and it selects the vertices closest to it. So you can select a section of an object that way. And that is control plus and minus. Now another way to join objects is at their creation. So I'm going to start uh, with the default view again. If I add a sphere, it creates it as a separate object. I'll delete that. If I have the cube selected and I hit tab to go into edit mode and I add a UV sphere, it adds it as part of that object. So now if I unselect, well, let's grab the sphere and move it out so you can see it. It's not inside the cube. And I'll hit zero to go into camera mode. You can see that it is one object even though uh, I created them separate and I haven't joined them because I added the sphere while in edit mode of the cube. So that's one way to combine objects at their creation. So that's edit, the basics of edit mode. As I said, once you're in here, you can use grab, uh, G for grab, S for scale, and R for rotate. And uh, that's the basics of edit mode. That was pretty quick, so let me go into something else here. Uh, in the buttons window, that's this window down here, uh, by default you're in editing, which is F9, which is this little icon right here. And uh, we've talked in the past about 
the center of an object, which you can see right now for both these objects is still set at the center of the cube there. So if I hit rotate, it's still going to rotate at the center of the cube. Now that we have these as one object, we may want the center point to be in the center. So let's say right there. Um, the way you do that is you say you can do use, there's three options here. There's new center. We click that and it moved the center point to the center there. Now if I rotate, it rotates uh, the objects at that center point. I'm going to control Z that to undo. So the center point's back in the center of the cube now. If we click center, it will move all the objects and we'll put that center point in the center, but instead of moving the center, it moves the objects. So once again, new center moves the center, center moves the objects around the center. And your third option is center to cursor. You'll also notice that every time you add an object, I'll add a cone, it, it seems to be adding it right in the center there, because that's where our cursor is, which is this little uh, circular crosshair looking thing here. And you can move that by left clicking in different spots. Now if I add an item, such as a cylinder, it adds it where that is. And you can do the same thing with the center point. If I want the center point of the cube and the sphere to be right here, or right here, I just right click, put the cursor there. Now remember, you're in, working in a 3D environment. So it may look like it's in one spot, but it may be in a different spot. So check your different views. Uh, mainly 3, 1, and 7 on your number pad, which is 7 is top, 1 is front, and 3 is side, to make sure the crosshair is where you want it. And then with the object selected, you, set, you hit center cursor. And now the center is where you centered that cursor to. So now if I was to rotate, it's going to rotate there. If I scale out, it will scale out from there, and the objects will get bigger and move away from that center point or closer as I shrink them down. So we had a quick look at edit mode, which is tab and adding objects to edit mode and joining objects with control J after multiple select selecting, adding objects to combine them while you're in edit mode and where the center point is and how to move that center point. I hope this is all making sense. Filmsbychris.com for more information, videos, and tutorials like this. Uh, the link is in the descriptions. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to rate and leave comments.